Hey, good morning, everybody. Got another job we're doing this morning. It's just a little garage. Tight spot, though. It's right in, right in the town. Everybody's houses are right next to each other, so we're trying to get the conveyor truck. The garage is 40 feet long. It's not very wide. It's about 14 feet wide. But we're going to use the conveyor. We've got to get them in this driveway. And the trouble with getting him in the driveway first without unfolding the conveyor is this tree is kind of in the way. So he's going to unfold it. And then he's going to try to jig himself in there with the conveyor out. And he had to come here when he did the footing, so he's done it once before. All right, that's what we're up against this morning. Got our eight yards on him, 3,500 fiber mesh, air and trainman in it. Got our water reducer in it, our regular floor mix today. I think sometimes he likes to chow. Looks like he's got it now. About that doorway over there, it slopes towards the front a little bit. One more He says one more Yes. Can't go down. That was him. That wasn't me. Look at me, man. some reason we couldn't have got the conveyor truck today we would have had to just use a regular truck you know and his chutes on the back of his truck would probably reach pretty close to this step right here where the door is so he reaches today with his chute and we hook on a 16 foot chute that's on the truck that will reach about here and we would have just had to pull this work our way back with the 16 foot chute so I mean it wouldn't have been too too bad but Having that conveyor just makes for a lot less pulling. Makes the job just easier. You know, when you pull concrete every single day, like yesterday we did 62 yards in a house, and by the time I got home I was pretty tired, you know. When you, when you do that stuff every day, you don't want to kill yourself every day if you don't have to, so if you get a truck like this, that can make your job a little bit easier. It's worth a little bit extra money to use it. Probably cost an extra couple hundred bucks to get this truck here today. But in my mind, you know, over the course of a, of a season, it's definitely well worth it. If you're just doing one job, like if it's just one single job, then probably just what I got the regular truck. Put the 16 foot chute on and just hold it. But well, we got we got a really big house and garage lined up for the mall that's going to be pumped. So well, that's a big job. Had three big jobs this week already, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, today's Thursday.
Oh, we don't mind paying a little bit extra sometimes to make our life easier. Yeah. A little one, Matt. Perfect. You gonna wash right here? Can I? I think so. Thanks. Yeah. too long. I was worried he was going to be way out in the road so guys couldn't get by him but he's, he's got enough room there so guys can get by. Because he's got to wash that thing out on the job site too. He can't just hold it up and take off. He's got to get all the concrete off the belt, clean the chutes. Yeah, it has a funny little sticky feeling to it. You know this the last three days when we've had him, his load feel that way. I think it's the way the new truck, because he's still got an old truck. Yeah. Oh yeah, Matt's going to wash up, get that cleaned up. We're going to wash food up. Magging out our both boat lines there. And then we'll leave a couple guys here to finish. Two of us are going to go to another job or an hour away, get something ready for next Monday. So thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.